This is according to newly appointed managing director of Demtoko, Christopher Brung, on Wednesday. For months, Demtoko, a major player in the local tobacco industry, had been awaiting the necessary regulations which they need to be compliant with the new legislation. However, Brung recently told reporters that the company has since been able to iron out these issues with the Public Health Ministry. We have received those um, regulations and we have prepared all the requisite labeling and packaging arrangements flowing from those regulations that needs now to be placed on our pack. That aspect of the regulations don't come into effect until 2019. Um, in fact, in February of 2019. So we are now in the process of um, producing, transforming, getting our packs to be compliant with those new um, regulator requirements. According to the new managing director, while Demtoko intends to wait until the enforcement date to release the new packaged and branding products into the market, it has been in the meantime sensitizing stakeholders on the new laws. We have already sensitized the customers or retailers and wholesalers of how the new packs are going to look in terms of the graphic pictorial health images that will be on them and other other matters that will change. They have some concerns and they have questions and that is why we have had the sessions with them to educate them and to advise them and to hear their questions and where we ourselves have, um, cannot answer we have our legal counsel both um, locally and globally who help us to to walk through those issues. The Tobacco Control Act became law back in August 2017 after passage by the National Assembly and subsequent assent by the President. As part of the phased implementation of the new legislation, the Public Health Ministry initiated an aggressive education and awareness campaign to sensitize the public of the new laws. Reporting for the Evening News, Vanu Malakchand.